Right, you guys, got another video here for you. If you're a LastPass user, then you need to do this right now. It seems that LastPass was hacked, and now LastPass have confirmed that customers' backups were stolen. So, what does this mean uh, for you? If you go to the internet now and have a look around, you're going to see a lot of posts from reputable websites that are claiming that LastPass data breach has revealed even more potential bad news for customers and users who use their password manager. Basically, what's happened is someone's hacked uh, their servers and they have now access to all of the user passwords and usernames for their accounts. So if you check out this website here, this is to do with LastPass. You can see here it says our response to the recent security incident and they will literally go into great detail of what's actually happened. Now they have sent out emails to everyone confirming that there has been a data breach and some instructions on what you to what you should do if you use LastPass. And I thought I'd make a quick video giving you some of my opinions and some of my uh, ideas of what you should be doing if you run LastPass on your system. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you haven't done already and you want to continue to use LastPass, then you need to go through the painstaking process of changing all of your individual passwords for everything that you have on that account. It's important that you do this because if you don't, you run the risk of having you know your information uh, leaked to these cyber criminals that have actually hacked their servers. They will now have usernames and passwords, and they can gain access to very sensitive information, which would be banks and other things like that, if you use LastPass for that particular purpose. Now, if you do use LastPass, then you would have probably received an email looking something like this here, basically saying they've notified you of an unauthorized party that was able to gain access to their third party cloud based storage service, which is used for LastPass to store backups. And uh, basically, this has all been explained on their blog, which I've showed you earlier on. This now means that they do have access to your usernames and passwords. So it's important that you go through the process of changing all of these passwords on your account. So you need to log into your LastPass account and go through and painfully change all of your passwords for everything you have in there to stop these uh, cyber criminals from uh, basically gaining access to your sensitive information. It could be your bank. It could be anything that you use your LastPass for to store your passwords on. Now, in my personal opinion, you'd be better off to uninstall LastPass and use another password manager. That is what I would recommend you do because there's plenty of other good ones out there. And I know people get attached to things, but when there's a security breach of this magnitude, then it's not worth continuing to use that particular uh, software, in my personal opinion. So. Find a new password manager is what I would recommend you do. There's quite a few out there. Bitwarden is free. They do have a free version. So this free version is probably going to be enough for most people. They're not going to need any more than the free version. You can see here unlimited passwords, unlimited devices, and uh, you get some other free options available here. What I'd advise you to do if you are using a password manager is to go for something like less than a a dollar per month that is billed ten dollars annually and what you're going to get from this is a lot more security you're going to get the emergency access you're going to get the advanced two-factor authentication you're going to get the emergency access and you also get this one here bitwarden authenticator uh, here as well and you get security reports and more so it's worth giving that ten dollars a month if you're using it for really sort of sensitive stuff like banking and things like that. That's what I'd advise you to do. So you've got other options here, but we're just talking about the free one and this ten dollar a year version. Now they also do some other ones out here called One Password. This is another one uh, that's available that you can use, and we also have other ones as well like Dashlane, which is very popular with a lot of people. So you can choose whichever one you want. Uh, to replace LastPass if that's the route you want to go down. But if you want to continue to use LastPass, then this is important. You must follow these steps. I would say you need to change all of your important site level passwords immediately. These include all of your passwords for anything like your banking, your financial stuff, 
and anything that you use really i would definitely uh, you know change uh, pretty much change all of your passwords that would be my advice there for if you want to continue to use say for instance um you know lastpass now also it goes without saying that even the stuff that isn't so important to you i would definitely want to change those passwords as well because obviously they're going to have access to this information the next thing you need to do is make sure you enable the two factor authentication whenever possible for any of the devices that you're using it on it's really important and to make sure you lock that down really secure to make sure that you have a chance of being safe and secure online another thing that i would advise you do is change your master password um, and basically this is your master password for the actual last pass that's important that you change that because obviously they're going to have access to it which is going to allow them to gain access to your last pass account in my personal opinion uh, you know last pass have had their bite of the cherry it's time to put it to bed and go with another alternative like bitwarden or something along those lines that's what i would advise you to go for bitwarden is probably my go-to choice i would say for uh, people because it is a free option and you can also have that option of paying ten dollars a year to have that authentication there protection which is really important anyway i'll leave all the information and links in the video description for you if you're interested in any of these options available but you know at the end of the day just be very careful don't take chances it's always important to make sure that you know you change your passwords on all of your accounts even the master password because they will have that information and they can use it against you now if you are one of these people that is using LastPass and you want to stay with them for some strange reason then by all means do so uh, this is not to flame at last pass but data breaches are really serious stuff and i don't think the full truth is going to come out yet i think it will come out a little bit later on the more investigating they do the more actual information comes out and it's just getting worse passwords and usernames being uh you know disclosed to some hacker is not good and if you're doing banking and stuff like that it's definitely worth ditching them and going with something more solid like say bitwarden or another option that's available out there Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick tech news video for you guys. If you are using one of those, then stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in the very next video. I just want to say a quick shout-out to all my YouTube members. I do appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next video. <music>